Hello everybody and welcome back to the channel where today we are going to talk more about the JSH Power Tool and this is a free extension. You can download the extension from the extension warehouse or you can use the uh, link given in the description below. So without wasting any other time, let's get started. So the very first tool which is the AMS Smooth tool helps you to smoothen your all surfaces you can select the surface and then you can click on the ams smooth run which helps you to smoothen up your surfaces it has yellow icon a blue icon and a green icon each and every icon smoothens the surface at a different angle the different angles are being shown the on the screen at the very right side right now and also you can always uh, select all of them and go to the white thing which is ams smooth to quadrants this will create quadrants on your smooth surface now the another tool is face filler which helps you to fill the faces while you import your CAD files in your SketchUp or if you have some bugs in your SketchUp. Likewise we have this circular thing which is a common circle. We can click on this face finder so it will make a surface. Also we have an exploded surface where we can singly select any segment or a small line and when we click on the face finder we get a clean surface. Now this helps you when you have a lot of holes in your geometry. This can help you in a 3D geometry call, uh, 3D geometrical things also. So what you have to do, you have to select your object and then go to Face Finder. Hit on this button and it will automatically fill the gaps below. The another tool helps you offset the lines. So what you have to do, you have to select a singular line and go to this offset edges. Click on this and it allows you to offset edges. You can always enter the number of value you need otherwise you can drag and drop and make it accordingly now the another tool the extrude lines helps you to extrude the vertical line vector lines into 3d shapes so you have to select a particular line and go to the extrude and extrude lines click on this then drag in the blue direction and drop it or either you can add some values and it will make a surface using a singular vector line. Another tool is extrude along path. So for this, you need to select a line, go to this extrude along path, click on this. It will ask you for the alignment. Right now we're going with the centroid alignment and it will ask you a width. So let's just go with, a, you can say 600 again with 1200 mm and let's just click on OK. So it will give me, yes, the, it will ask me that is this the shape you required. So we'll click on yes, and then it will extrude the face along this. So this is kind of a thing that you place a rectangular profile along a path and then you use a follow me tool. So it saves your time and it, you know, it works basically along like this. Another tool helps you to make circular lines, the pipe along path, which you click on this and you can go to the outer diameter let's just say it's 300 mm the inside diameter is 250 mm and let's just keep everything the same click on ok this helps you allow to make pipes along a particular line another tool helps you to convert lines into tubes so this tool is lines to tubes so for this you need to select all of your lines and click on your lines to tube now here you have to fill some information like the diameter of uh, the diameter the precision so let's just say the diameter right now is 250 and click on ok yes we need it in a particular group as you can see we have converted all the lines into tubes now the another tool is copy along path this tool helps you to make multiple copies along a particular path so we'll select a particular path right now and then we have to click on this red icon click on this and then select your component it will make some copies you can always change the distance between the multiple copies let's just say it's 5000 and you can always decrease this as per your design let's just keep a 6000 and yes that seems good okay now the another tool helps you to align your objects in different axes for example the very first is you can align your objects in red direction the red direction along the red direction or else you can align your objects in green directions okay in green axis otherwise you can align your axis and blue axis so it will come in and let's just repeat again so you select again and click on your blue axis it will align those according to your blue axis uh, not just this we have another tool which help us to add a different components for this you need to select a surface then go to your components to grid array click on this this will ask you to select a component right now we have selected the box component and the grid spacing let's let's just do not change this and keep it the same 6000 mm 
and click on OK and it will place the boxes. Although another tool helps you to, to intersect your components with the blue axis with the base level. So how you can do that? So for that you need to select all your components and then click on your draw pad intersection. You click on this and it will placed at the low level. So this can be very helpful while you place your components, objects or some trees in your, you can say contours levels or you can say the landscape part. So we'll just go to back and another tool which can help you to move your component at your base level, which you can define it. So you can click on zero, click on OK. So you can see when we rotate this, it is at this zero axis, not below this. Now this tool helps you to mirror some objects. For this, you need to select an object, click on your mirror TIG, click on this, go to select initial point, the end point, and then the direction to mirror. So we'll have a mirror object like this. Now you have three different tools to work for the curves. Right now, as you can see, when we select any line, we have the line is broken. So what you can do is you can select all the line and you can go to the first extension over this side for the curves is super well. When you click on this, it will weld all the breaker lines okay so as now we haven't selected this so it was not welded so again if you want to deselect if you want to break the joint line you can come this join the select the line and go to explode all curve lines as you can see we have again got the curve line so let's just uh, weld the line again and click on this equalize curve segments so this will give you a vertices we can divide the multiple uh, we can divide the curve line in multiple divisions so let's just go with uh, eight so eight and click on ok yes we need to see points click on ok so this is what you got clear so these are the vertices how it is helpful we'll talk about this at the end of the video so the another tool gives you permission to move your components by using your keyboard keys so for that you need to select your component then go to this blue icon which says the js mover click on this click on this and then see now i'm using my curse uh, window keys the left key the, this is the right key this is the left key upper key and the bottom key to move my object and place it very precisely not just this then other objects helps you to align different objects at a different placement. For example, if you need to align this object at this axis, how we can do that? We can select this particular component, go to this align tool, click on this. Now I'll just click on this origin point. Then I click on this red direction and that's the green direction. So it has automatically made the origin point. Now we'll click on the end origin, which is this origin point this is the red direction and this is the green direction so it has aligned that object to this particular line similarly to the js mover in this you can select a component and then click on your rotex the name of the tool is rotex you click on this and then this gives you a permission as you can see at the very top side as you can see the upper key when i'm using the upper key at the very left side of the uh, screen you can see the red green and blue axis and when i'm using the right key and left key it allows me to rotate the object at a particular angle now these three tools are on my favorite list so with using these tools you can so the very first tool is randomly scale so you can randomly scale any object so you can click on this as you can move scroller so you click on this you get multiple random scales and the another tool helps you to randomizely rotate the tools you can see so these the these particular thing can help you when you have when you are placing multiple trees you are doing a landscape thing okay and when you are placing something which is very random in size so what you can do uh, the another tool which helps you do the both action and a similar time which means you can rotate and scale your objects with this particular key okay now the another tool which also helps a lot when you're doing some heavy modeling so it's a proxy tool now using this you can hide your these geometries not just hide so let's just see what it can do so you click on this proxy and you can click on a tree and it will give you this rectangular box instead of your heavy geometries so this will make your models very light and you can work along and whenever you need your models when you need the renders so you you can again come to proxy and click on these boxes and you will get the trees back or any heavy geometry which you are trying to hide so let's now for right now you can also do this select all of them and click on proxy it will hide let's just keep them hide the another tool is compost swapper by which you can swap your components for that you need to click on this 
and then select the component which you need to swap and press alt key while you select this once done you can single click and you can replace them okay and if you need that all of the components should be replaced then you press ctrl and then select any tool and it will be replaced entirely now these three tools help you to make divisions in a particular phase select a phase use your select faces now this helps you to create a mesh kind of geometry for that you can enter a cell value right now we are having 900 mm and click on ok and it will divide and create a mesh and it will generate a mesh with a size of 900 mm not just this you can also randomize thing you can select a surface you can go to the third tool which is the split up tool and you can click on this and this will allows you to make multiple divisions into equal squares of this particular surface so that with if we go to six and click on ok you can see it has created six over here and six over here not just this if you need to divide it further you can select them and go to the in between tool which is subdivide faces you click on this and you can increase the number of divisions so i'll click on one okay it will create number of divisions for a particular square is one right now you can't go back you select this again click on this again and you right now will go to two and okay so you can see so we have added number of divisions are two no matter how it's making the divisions it's making the four but number of divisions are two right now okay so we have another tool which is the C vertex tool for that you need to select a particular surface you can add a C vertex button on any inter intersection point likewise I need this interaction point over here so like you can click on this and you can add a point over here add a point over here if you don't need it like this you can always select your surface triple click it so wherever we have this interaction just a second we have a, wherever we have this interaction we'll get a C vertex so else you click on this it will generator c vertex again you can move it so it always it's come into a component or a group the following two tools are according to this vertex panel so what you can do is you can select all of them and you can join the vertex and it will make a particular line if not needed you can place any object on all this vertex point so how, how you can do that you have to select the vertex point along with your shape you need to place and then click on the last tool which is the c point and one component to place once you click on this it will automatically place the component at your vertex point i hope you like this video and if you have any doubts in, in this particular tool you can always comment down we'll read your comments and we can make some particular videos along with this